If you're running Windows 10, there's something critically important you need to do now before it's too late. Microsoft has officially announced that mainstream support for Windows 10 is ending on October 14th, 2025. Now, that may seem like a long way off, a distant date on the calendar, but if you wait until the very last minute, you could find yourself in a significant jam, facing a situation that's far more complicated and frustrating than it needs to be. After that specific date, Microsoft may and likely will remove the ability to easily download the Windows 10 installation media. And this won't be just a minor inconvenience, it has profound implications. If your hard drive crashes unexpectedly, or if you encounter a severe software corruption that necessitates a complete system reinstall, or even if you want to simply perform a clean installation to refresh your system for any reason, you might not be able to get a legitimate, safe, and clean copy of Windows 10 easily, or perhaps at all, directly from Microsoft. This is a crucial point that many people are going to overlook until it's too late. The end of support means no more free security updates, no more bug fixes, and no more free technical assistance from Microsoft. Running an unsupported operating system leaves your computer vulnerable to new threats and can lead to compatibility issues with new software and hardware down the line. It's like a ticking clock, and proactive preparation is your best defense. Upgrading to Windows 11 is your safest path, but we'll assume you have your reasons for being on Windows 10. And that's precisely why I'm telling you today, make a bootable USB key with the Windows 10 installer media on it. Consider this USB drive to be your digital insurance policy, your emergency recovery kit for the future. With this in hand, you'll be able to perform a reinstall of Windows 10, do repairs, or even set up a new system with Windows 10, long after Microsoft officially stops offering the download links. And the best part? Creating one is surprisingly easy, a task that takes mere minutes but offers immense peace of mind. So let me walk you through the straightforward process of how to do it. In fact, I'll show you two ways. First, we'll utilize Microsoft's own official tool designed specifically for this purpose. It's called the Media Creation Tool. This utility is Microsoft's sanctioned way to download Windows installation files and to create bootable media, ensuring you get a legitimate and up-to-date version of the operating system. To find it, simply go to Microsoft's official website and use their search function, typing in Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. You'll officially find it on a page dedicated to Windows 10 downloads. Once you're on the correct page, locate the download link for the tool and click on it. The file is relatively small and will download quickly. After it's downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder and run the program. Now you may be prompted by user account control asking for permission to make changes to your device. Click yes to proceed. The tool will then initialize, which might take a moment as it prepares itself. It will present you with a few options. When it asks you what you wanted to do, Choose the option that clearly states Create Installation Media for Another PC. This is the critical selection as it allows you to prepare media for future use rather than upgrading your current machine directly right here and now. Then click Next. The tool will then guide you through selecting your language, edition, and architecture. For most users, especially if you're creating this for the PC you're currently using or a similar modern machine, you can simply leave the boxes checked that say Use the recommended options for this PC. This will automatically detect your system's current language, the correct Windows 10 edition like Home or Pro, and the appropriate architecture, 32 or 64-bit. Now, a quick note on architecture. Almost all modern computers use 64-bit processors, often referred to as x64. If you have a very old machine, it might be 32-bit only, but for general purposes, 64-bit is the standard. So if you are creating media for a different specific PC, you might uncheck this box and manually select the correct options, but for your personal insurance policy, the recommended settings are usually perfect. Click Next again, and now the tool will ask you to choose your media type. Select USB flash drive as your preferred option. At this point, it's crucial to plug in a USB drive that's at least 8 gigabytes in size. While 8 gigabytes is the minimum, a 16 gigabyte or even 32 gigabyte drive offers more headroom and is often only a few pennies more. So, be acutely aware that anything currently stored on the USB drive will be completely erased during this process. Ensure you've backed up any important data from it beforehand. The media creation tool will then detect the connected USB drive and present you with a list. Select the correct drive from the list to avoid accidentally formatting the wrong one. It will ask you to confirm your selection, and then click Next, and the tool will begin its work. Once the download is complete, the tool will then proceed to create the bootable USB drive, writing the installation files to it, and configuring it to be bootable. When it's done, a message will appear indicating that the process is complete. Safely eject the drive from your computer, just as you would any other USB device, to prevent any data corruption. Finally, and this is actually important, 
Label it clearly. Something like Windows 10 Installer, October end of life, or Windows 10 Recovery. Store it somewhere safe, perhaps with other important recovery media or documents. Now you've got a fully functional Windows 10 recovery and installation drive that will work even after the operating system is no longer officially available for download from Microsoft. This simple step may have just saved you a potential headache of epic proportions in the future. So now let's talk about the power user way for those who desire more control and customization over their Windows installation. There's a fantastic free utility called Rufus that gives you significantly more control over the process and some incredibly useful options that Microsoft's own media creation tool doesn't offer. Rufus is a small, lightweight, and incredibly efficient program that you can download from its official website, rufus.ie. It's always important to download software like this from its official source to avoid malicious versions. One of the great advantages of Rufus is that it does not need to be installed, it's a portable application. You simply download the executable file and run it directly. Before you open Rufus, you'll also need a Windows 10 ISO file. An ISO file is essentially a single file that contains an exact copy of an entire disk, in this case a Windows 10 installation DVD. You can still download one directly from Microsoft's website. Instead of using the media creation tool though, look for an option that says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file on the same Windows 10 download page. Once you've downloaded both Rufus and the Windows 10 ISO file, plug in your USB drive, again ensuring that it's at least 8 gigabytes and that you've backed up any data you wish to keep as it will be formatted. Then open Rufus. It will automatically detect your connected USB drive and display it at the top under device. If you have multiple USB drives connected, which is not a good idea, make sure the correct one is selected. Under boot selections, click the select button and navigate to where you downloaded the Windows 10 ISO file. Choose the ISO file and Rufus will load its contents. And here's where it gets truly interesting and where Rufus shines for the power user. Rufus gives you the option to tweak the installer in ways that Microsoft's tool simply doesn't allow. This is particularly useful for bypassing some of Microsoft's more annoying or restrictive default settings, especially those that have become more prevalent with Windows 11, but also apply to certain aspects of Windows 10 setup. For example, you can bypass the requirement for a Microsoft account during the initial setup process. This is a huge benefit for users who prefer to use a local account for privacy reasons or simply don't want to be forced into an online account setup during installation. You can also remove the TPM or Trusted Platform Module and the Secure Boot requirements. TPM and Secure Boot are security features designed to protect your system, but they can be a hindrance if you're trying to install Windows 10 on older hardware, especially stuff that doesn't have these features, or if you're trying to set up a virtual machine, or even if you're dual booting with another operating system. Bypassing these allows for greater flexibility and hardware compatibility. Furthermore, Rufus can even skip the privacy questions that Microsoft presents during the initial setup, streamlining the installation process and allowing you to get to your desktop faster without having to click through numerous privacy settings. Once you've configured your desired options, click the Start button. Rufus will then issue a warning, reiterating that all data on the selected USB drive will be destroyed. Double check that you've selected the correct drive and that you're okay with its contents being erased and then click OK to continue. Now this process, similar to the media creation tool, will take a few minutes, depending on your system's speed and the USB drive's write speed. Rufus will display a progress bar, and once it's done, you'll have a fully customized Windows 10 installation USB. Now this isn't just any installer. It's one that installs the operating system precisely the way you want it, without nagging you to sign in with a Microsoft account, and without forcing you through TPM or secure boot checks, and without making you jump through unnecessary setup hoops. It puts you, the user, firmly in control of your operating system installation. And once that's done, safely eject the USB drive, label it clearly with all the customizations you've made, for instance, Win 10 Pro X64, no Microsoft account TPM bypass, and store it somewhere safe. You now possess a complete bootable Windows 10 installer that not only puts you in control, but also works entirely offline, meaning that you don't need an internet connection to perform the installation or reinstallation. And this is invaluable in situations where internet access might be limited or unavailable. It might seem like overkill today, a task that feels unnecessarily when Windows 10 is still widely available and functional. But come 2026 or even late 2025, when people start scrambling to reinstall Windows 10 after system failure and suddenly discover they can't find the official media anymore or that the download links have vanished, you'll be incredibly profoundly glad you took this small proactive step. It's like a 15-minute task, perhaps 20 minutes if your internet is slow, and it could genuinely save you hours of frustration, days of troubleshooting, or even the entire usability of your system down the road. Imagine your primary hard drive failing on October 15th, 2025. 
Without this USB, you might be left with a useless machine, unable to reinstall the operating system that you've come to rely on. With it, you simply boot from the USB, reinstall Windows, and get back to work. So please do it now while it's still easy and while the official tools and the ISOs are readily available. Don't wait for the inevitable crunch. Prepare today for peace of mind tomorrow. If you found today's episode to be any combination of helpful or informative, I'd be honored if you consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video. And I'm pleased to announce that one of my kids took the initiative of uh, taking on the project of completely revamping the merchandise store so you can now rock your own high-quality Dave's Garage coffee mug, shirts, sandals, hoodies, and much more. Check it out at the link in the video description. Thanks for joining me out here in the shop today. In the meantime and in between time, I hope to see you next time, right here in Dave's Garage. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Subscribe. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Subscribe. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet?